Welcome back to Tape Don't Lie. Look, we talked about Kenneth Murray. Now we're going to get into Neville Gallimore. Murray might be the headliner, but to me, Gallimore is my favorite player to watch out of this Oklahoma defense. Well, listen, Michael, you were on this kid before I was, admittedly. Uh, but when you got me on the scent, I started to watch this guy closely. And he's a he's a neat, neat kid to watch because he's really like a dancing bear. You know, he's just so light on his feet. He's a tremendous athlete. But this is a guy that's worked himself into success, and you want guys that are playing their best football um, in their later years, and he certainly is a case of that. Yeah, he's doing all those things. And I, listen, I'll admit, I was on him when he was coming out of Canada as an unknown guy going to the opening and watching the way he soaks up coaching is really, really fun to see. So for me, Gallimore, one of my favorite guys that I've ever covered in recruiting, one of the guys I've ever followed in recruiting, one of my favorite guys to watch. And listen, let's not waste time here. Let's go ahead and let's jump into the tape. You look at the big guy there, you call him the dancing bear. This guy, to me, I look at him, I, I see big cat, right? I see a tiger out there, a Siberian <laughs> tiger out there tracking down ball carriers. When you roll his tape, and this is what I'm talking about, Seymour, look at the way he moves like this big cat, splits through there, eats through the line, and he's just tracking this guy down. He's a guy hunting down his prey. No doubt. And the thing that jumps out is his first step quickness and the way he eats the ball. Like, he has amazing suddenness off the edge. Keep in mind, this guy lost weight between 2018 and 2019, and we can see that by his get off. He gets off so fast that the lineman can't get across to block him. So he gets him on his back and then watch the hand strength here. The ability to grab cloth oh, yeah. and just yank down Puka Williams, I believe it shows you what a grip he has in the strength. Right here's a great shot of it just to yank him to the ground. Yeah, this is really something special to watch. He is so good at this. And and I love that when you combine the athleticism, that explosion, that explosion first step, there's some power in there too. You see that shoulder pop through. That guy's head snaps back a little bit because he wasn't ready for that big dog to come through there. But look at the way he runs him down. Now that's real speed. We know Pook is fast, but this is real speed out of that lineman to come across and get down and get downhill or get down line, excuse me. And then we're going to see it again against West Virginia. Watch the way he is lined up in the interior. Look at the way he gets down line and he's learning. I can always see him processing. He recognizes I'm not going to get to him by getting up field. Let me go ahead and get down line so I can make this play at the line of scrimmage. Let me change my angle to the ball carry is exactly what he's doing. And I'm telling you, when you watch him run and chase at the line like that, he reminds me a lot of Grady Jarrett. I mean, we're in that time of the year where you look for comparables. And that's what this kid reminds me of. You know, he's so quick and athletic. He has so much burst and juice to the ball that he can make these plays look very routine. That's a difficult play for a one technique to make, but for not a problem for him at all. That's how athletic he is. That's how much twitch he has in his body. Yeah, and this is the one I wanted to show. And I know it's not like, you know, a tackle for loss, like everything else is when you talk about defensive line, but this is an effort play. And for a guy that picked up football relatively late compared to his peers, the effort has always been there. He hasn't learned how to loaf. And that's something I noticed uh, two years ago in 2018 with Oklahoma. Obviously, it stood out in 2019 with Oklahoma, but this guy doesn't know how to loaf. He doesn't take plays off. Great observation. There are things that you can teach and there are things that you can't teach. You can't teach effort. And look at this. I mean, this guy gets up the field, but his ability to get his foot in the ground, redir redirect, retrace back to an athletic Charlie Brewer, that's a heck of a play. And, you know, those are the type of plays that uh, defensive coordinators in the NFL, when they're studying this kid, and believe me, they're going back to the tape because of the, the times that we're in, and they're going with a pure form of film evaluation they're going to see a play like that, and they're going to stop the tape. And they're going to say, look, this is why we need to move this kid up higher on our board. Look at this tenacity. Look at this effort. It is a red-hot motor that doesn't cool off this guy play snap the whistle. He is an intriguing player. He's so fun to watch because he plays so hard and with so much urgency. And see, Mark, we saw a little bit of that effort. We saw the explosion out of Gallimore, but you also want to see some power when you're talking about an interior defensive lineman. Uh, you mentioned Grady Jarrett, who I love. He had some power to go with it. Here, you look at the power. This is against FAU, but look at the way he's able to push guys off their point and then go get the quarterback. His ability to uncoil his hips, he shows a lot more pop than I probably gave him credit for. I underestimated him a little bit. You could see the lower body strength, the way he's able to rock the center back, and he's able to either easily shrug off the guard who tries to assist and just rocks him back to get to Brewer, he doesn't stand a chance. And this is a guy, remember, he plays with low center of gravity, great leverage. Because he's a little bit on the shorter side, he can get underneath you, get into you, 
and rock you back. He loves the bull rush and get those guys back in the lap of the quarterback. What a luxury it is for Alex Grinch, though, when you can rush three and get pressure that way and drop eight into coverage. That's what this kid can help you to do. Yeah, that's a dream for a defensive coordinator. Here, just focus in on Gallimore right there in the interior. Watch the way he moves the line of scrimmage backwards against his man and then still goes down like, like we mentioned with that quickness. Yeah, just tremendous pop. And I think the other thing that, that he's shown on the film is that he has good hand play. He has a good hand fight. He gets his hands inside and he's able to disengage. He really just controls the lineman and takes him right down play. And so that's the strength, that's the leverage that we're talking about. Now remember, the knock on him, right, is, is height and length. Those are the issues that you have with a guy who plays at that zero and the one, but because he has that power and the upper body strength, he's able to fight off and disengage from those blocks. Yeah, I think that he's got the power. You see that quick takeoff there. You see him fight through a couple guys, and this is goes back to effort, right? This is yeah. effort, and this is wanting to make a play. He is running faster than everybody else on the field during this play. So you see him being able to fight through guys, but then you see the effort come into play where he's able to turn something that was not good. He, that play didn't go well for him, but he get, gets off the block, gets off the running back's block, and now he's giving chase to a guy that should not be, he shouldn't be able to catch. But look at him move faster than everybody else on the field to create that fumble. Yeah. Yeah, Michael, this is a straight cash homie play. This guy's going to get the bag, and this is one of the plays that's going to get it for him. You mentioned the burst and get off. Watch how fast he gets off and disengage. He runs through the back. He doesn't even feel the back coming to help out. And then the ability at 10, 15 yards down the field, not only to get there, but to create a turnover. This is what defensive coordinators are loving about this guy. I mentioned earlier, play snap to whistle, doesn't give up on a play, runs it down, gets a hand in, and rocks the ball out. That's exactly what you want from your interior guys. And that's why this kid this year was one of the best interior players in the country. Again, tremendous upside, a guy that's ascending. He has the arrow pointed up, but he's worked himself into this. He's gotten calluses on his hands from the hard work. And this is a guy that's been well coached up in Norman. I'm looking forward to see him on the next level. Yeah, he really blossomed this year, and we're going to look at what kind of that blossoming looks like as we get into this next tape where we, t we look at him actually working through pass rush moves and using those hands that you just mentioned. So let's get into it, Seymour. Let's look at the taking coaching aspect of this. We got a quick study right up there. Uh, the fact is, when I saw him in Oregon at the opening, he was learning, soaking up pass rush moves, learning different techniques, and now we're seeing it in action as he, as he leaves Oklahoma. This guy can get things done. He has an ability to swivel his hips and get skinny in his pass rush. You'll see it here. He gets a hand swipe. He doesn't win clean, but it's a side swipe, but just enough yep. to create enough space and distance. And then he kind of jumps through. And then you see the dancing bear able to land on his feet and close to the quarterback. Watch the left hand. There's a swipe to get the hands down. Doesn't get the hands completely knocked down, but he's strong enough in his club move that he's able to close and get to the quarterback. Yeah, I love this. You see him lined up over the center. He gives him a little cha-cha. And the way he gives that quick cha-cha <laughs> and then makes himself skinny to get through that, that A gap between the, between the center and the guard and go get the quarterback, that's what you want to see out of an interior pass rusher. Who would have thought they'd do the cha-cha slide in Norman, Oklahoma? But that's exactly what it does look like. I mean, watch him dance. He's going to dance just to get the lineman back on his heels a little bit. And then he just throws him out of the way. But then he gets the guard saying, hey, well, I'm going to come help out but you're just not strong enough. So you can see the Bingo. twitch, but you also see the power and the strength. And then he knows how. The best thing is this guy knows how to finish. He can burst the close. You mentioned the coaching, how he's learned, how he's developed. He has pass rush variety for an interior player, and that is of optimal premium at the next level. This is my favorite. You don't see most guys gain ground yeah. on spin moves, but he has the ability. You see him slap that arm away to to give himself clearance and then spin upfield. Most guys can spin downfield. Most guys spin in, spin in place, but most guys aren't gaining ground with that spin move, and he's doing it. Listen, he did him dirty, uh, as the guys like to say. This is a, just a sick move. We talked about how he, he freezes the feet of these linemen. He gets them rocked out, but then he doesn't know what he's going to hit them with. He has no idea... Because Gallimore has so many moves in his game and in his arsenal, 
that he sets him up perfectly. And he's a technician. He's been working over this through the course of the game. Now he makes his quick spin. It happens so fast that the lineman can't recover. And then you can see the little detail in his play and why he's so coached up. Because once he got past him, he was able to kind of push off with his elbow. That projected him towards Sam Ellinger to get him on the ground. This guy is technically sound. He has the ability to play run, get to the passer, to be a game record type of player. And the thing that I love is I think he's still scratching the surface of how great he can be. He's an ascending player, and I think that's what people are going to fall in love with. Yeah, I, that's what I fell in love with was the fact that the ceiling is still so high and the ceiling is that was in high school. Now the ceiling is even higher because he's got this arsenal of pass rush moves. I am looking forward to watching him grow in this process, watching him grow at the next level, because somebody's going to get a player that not a lot of people have heard of, but he's going to go out there and make everyone super excited about his game.